waitress has wallet stolen. Five years later, opens mysterious envelope that contains the truth. The internet is so ingrained into our daily lives, that many of us can't imagine how life ever existed without it. We do our shopping with the click of a button, easily manage our bank accounts, and when we're feeling down in the dumps, social media can lift our spirits. However, there's also a scary side to the internet, it's way too easy for total strangers to find out where we live, work, or go to school. All they need is a name. Five years ago, Amy Christine's wallet and ID was stolen out of her purse when she was filling out new employee paperwork. She searched everywhere for it, but it was gone. Then one day a stranger walked into the restaurant where she worked as a waitress, and handed the hostess an envelope. It was addressed to Amy, but the poor woman had no idea that she was about to open up a lost chapter of her past. The waitress, who was working at the Brews Room Sports Grill in Boynton Beach, Florida, was stunned when she saw the contents of the mysterious envelope. But, it wasn't because she was being stalked on the internet. On her Facebook page, Amy said, Wow, I am in shock right now. Years ago I had my wallet stolen while at Miller's Ale House. I had just gotten hired and was filling out all of my paperwork and later after I got home I noticed it was missing. I searched everywhere and called Ale House but it was gone. There was a letter inside, but the heart-stopping words filled Amy with more than just memories of her past. The letter was directly addressed to Amy. So the person who wrote it obviously knew who she was. Amy, on the other hand, was clueless as to who the person was, or why they had given her a mysterious letter. It read, Dear Amy, about five and a half years or so ago I did something very terrible to you. I stole your wallet out of your purse. I was a drug addict wanting to take money from whoever I could get my next high. I didn't even know you, I pickpocketed you and took it right out of your purse. The person went on to say that after they removed Amy's Best Buy card and all the cash from the wallet, it was tossed into a trash can next to a store. But, it was the thief's next words that really grabbed Amy's attention. Sometimes it seems like bad people have no conscience, and they would be quite happy to stay that way forever. But, that's not always the case. It's the choices a person makes that shapes them and people can always choose to do something different. Not long after that I landed in a treatment facility and got sober. I've been sober for four years now and just recently found your Best Buy card in a bag, sick, of old stuff. I looked up your name and found where you worked. So here I am. Recovering addicts often go through a 12-step program, and step 9 is restitution and reconciliation. In order to heal themselves, it's important to make direct restitution to people they feel they've harmed. In this case, the old Best Buy card reminded the anonymous addict what they had done to Amy. I can't imagine the frustration and despair I put you through not to mention all the time and effort looking for it and getting all new stuff. It is unforgivable what I have done but I would like to pay you a small amount of money for it. I will also never hurt someone in that way ever again and will continue to live an honest life. The repentant wallet snatcher finished the letter by wishing Amy happiness, prosperity, and good health. Oh, and they also included a stack of $20 bills in an attempt to make up for what they took from her years ago. There was no name or signature at the bottom of the letter, but Amy didn't need to put a name or face to this person. The sweet thought alone was enough to make her teary-eyed. I could not believe after all this time someone would care enough to go through the effort to find me, stranger. I'm glad you got yourself better and thank you so much. It put a tear to my eye. Sometimes it seems as if the world is a tumultuous, unforgiving place. But, just when you least expect it, and from the person you least expect it from, we're reminded that if the hopeless among us can turn their lives around, then there's hope for the rest of the planet too. Please share this heart-touching story with your friends and family and subscribe our channel for more.